Lot 249, sold to Mr. Francis. Thank you. Now, lot 250, a fine regency clock viewed on my right. Who'll start the bidding at £1,000? £1,000, anyone? £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, thank you very much. £1,500, £1,500, £1,500, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, thank you. £2,500, £2,500, anyone? £2,500, woman there, thank you very much. £2,000, £2,000, anyone? £2,000, £2,000, £2,000 for a fine Regency clock. £2,000, any higher? £3,000. Four thousand, four thousand, four thousand, five thousand, five thousand. Look, Vanessa, I'll speak to him today. Don't worry. I'll have to go now. I suppose you want a few minutes of peace and quiet with your book, do you, Richard? Yes, please. And you don't want to be disturbed by anyone? Not for the next ten minutes. Fine. Well, I think in the next ten minutes you ought to decide which is more important to you. This business or your bloody hobbies. What are you driving at? I'm sick of your lack of dedication to this partnership. Oh, you are, are you? What do you intend to do about it? I want to buy you out. I'm running this place single-handed as it is, so there won't be any problem without you here. In fact, things will be a lot nicer without Queen Cleopatra's eternal presence. What if I don't sell? There's nothing to keep you here. Well, I need this business to finance my collections. So I won't sell to you, or anyone else for that matter. Well, I think it's time you did some serious thinking. As you wish. Vanessa Evans. And? No deal, but you've told me. No, you listen. You're my accountant. You know how much that old fool's costing me. If he can't afford a piece, he'll push the bidding up through the bloody roof before he drops out. Look, you have to do something about this before he ruins me completely. He's ruining both of us. But he's not going to give up just like that. He's going to need a lot of persuasion. Then it's about time we did persuade him. Well, don't expect me to do all the dirty work. I'm an accountant, not a hitman. Although he does have a weak heart. Maybe we could scare him into submission. What do you know about Egyptian curses, for instance? Oh, come on. I'm not going to rely on godly intervention for this. Maybe not. But if we were to give them a little assistance... Well, as a matter of fact, you can.
beautiful, isn't it? Unbelievably beautiful. They say it has a curse, you know. They always say these things have a curse. I don't believe that mumbo jumbo. Let's talk about money, shall we? You've done well. Just a toy gun and a little imagination. I prepared another little surprise back at the office. Now, let's go and see to Mr. Francis. Why did you? And I don't need you anymore either.
Thank you. Now, lot 250, fine Regency clock viewed on my right. You'll start the bidding at £1,000. £1,000 anyone, £1,000, £1,000, £1,000, thank you very much. £1,500, £1,500, £1,500, £1,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, thank you. £2,500, £2,500, £2,500 anyone, £2,500, thank you very much. £3,000, £2,000 anyone, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000, £2,000,